Good morning. Today I am going to discuss with you the importance of chirality in daily life. As you know, chirality is a concept in stereochemistry. A chiral object is non superimposable on its mirror image. So these are few examples of the objects which are non superimposable on its mirror image. For example, the hand. Left hand and the right hand, they are middle images of each other, but they are non superimposable. Similarly, so there is one on the on the on the right side, we see the circular objects, and then these circular objects are superimposable, therefore they are non chiral. So the objects which are non superimposable on its middle image, they are known as chiral objects, and they are the these two are also known as enantiomers. The object and its middle image they are known as enantiomers. To understand the chirality to its specificity, and it will take us to the application of chirality in our daily life. For example, D glucose, which we use quite frequently in our home, is the instant source of energy, while its middle image L glucose is not. Our cells and those of almost all other living organisms cannot burn L-glucose for energy, but they can burn D-glucose. The reason they can burn only one form of sugar is that enzymes that assist in the reaction that burn the sugar can only bind to D-glucose. Understand chirality to the specificity in this slide. We see the L glucose and its mirror image D glucose. The enzyme hexokinase in presence of ATP phosphorylates only the D glucose, and D glucose 6 phosphate finally gets converted to carbon dioxide, gas, water, energy sources, mostly the ATP through the processes of glycolysis and citric acid cycle. This example will give us better understanding why is D-glucose accepted by the enzyme while the L-glucose is not. In the receptor, the binding would be tight if there is three-point interaction. On the left-hand side, we see the molecule and the receptor, they are having three-point interaction. Whereas on the right-hand side, the receptor would remain the same, whereas the object, the middle image of the object will not be able to fit tightly in, in the receptor. Therefore, the binding is weak. So, thalidomide is the drug which was given to the pregnant woman for morning sickness during the 1950s. But later on, it was found or to be teratogen. Teratogen are the molecule which cause mal formation in embryos and it resulted in serious birth defects to more than 10,000 babies. And this slide is quite scary. And later on, it was found that out of two molecules, because in thalidomide we see there is a chiral center, and one molecule was the drug, while the middle image was the poison was the teratogen, and this resulted in giving push towards the development of an antipio drugs. And these are the few examples of blockbuster drugs available in the market, and we see there are so many chiral centers, and these have been synthesized in pure chiral form, only one an antiomer. And this slide is very, very interesting, and still it is under debate. The biological importance of chirality. Human body is structurally chiral with heart lying to the left of the center and the liver to the right. Most people are right handed. Helical seashells are chiral and most spiral like a right handed screw. Many plants display chirality while winding around the spots. DNA itself has a helical structure and all naturally occurring DNA turns to the right. All amino acid are classified as left-handed while the molecules are sugar right-handed, including the sugars that occur in the DNA. Thank you very much for your patience. If you have any query, any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me.